What's up, guys? As you might have noticed recently in the news, Britain has voted to leave European Union in an open public referendum, which is not binding law. However, it is advisory to Parliament to act. And this sends sort of a wave of uncertainty into the markets. And you've, you've probably noticed, if you live in Britain, that the pound has fallen. And with that, being a gamer and being an importer of goods, you might actually feel the repercussions now. I'm gonna show you the basic example of it. Being the, the newest NVIDIA card, uh, GeForce 1080. Uh, maybe it's 1070 as well, but um, I'm not dealing with it since I'm, uh, I've bought 1080 and I've monitored the pricing. As you can see, I bought um, EVGA NVIDIA 1080 uh, Founders Edition this was back in, I think it was a uh, June, beginning of June, for 619 pounds. That was pre-referendum. I've since then uh, already uh, started the return process. Uh, however, today I've checked the price, and the same exact card is up by a really high margin. I think this is um, this. This is, there are many factors, of course. Uh, you might think that th this is a so shortage of cards. Uh, you would be correct in uh, if you take into account uh, the non-reference designs. They are in shortage. However, reference designs are not in shortage. And this is a reference design card. So this is not a supply issue. However, this is both pound and speculation issue. So the speculators and, p and, fall and falling pound um, are applying massively uh, higher price for a new stock. So if you find an old stock, which I will show you, for example, if you go on a Google store and you, sh uh, and you might look, and if you see a decent price, this is probably an old stock. And usually it's it's all out of stock, so the, the price is irrelevant, right? If, if you don't have a car, if you don't have a product, the price is irrelevant. The only relevant price is if the goods are in store and ready to ship. So, the most active one to supply the cards to UK right now I've seen is MSI with their non-reference design of um, GTX 1080 and possibly 1070. It's It's been supplying shops um, quite actively. I think uh, overclockers.co.uk had it for a while, but it was gone in a moment. And as you can see, most of their cards are gone. Most of the non-reference designs. They still have the gain ward one. Uh, right, so it's all reference designs in stock. Yeah, so you can see all the, it's only the reference design that's available. However, uh, let's check the price. And yeah, it's still an old price. Why? Because these cards, I've been monitoring this for, a, for over a month. So ever since they appeared, the, the Zotac, the Pini, the Pallet, all the cheaper brands, they were always in stock. They're running out, of course, as you can see, there's only one now, but these were always in stock, and that's why it's an older um, price. However, if you check the, the price on non-reference, it's pretty insane. It's almost 700 pounds, right? And this card... They had only about 10 of them total in the beginning and it, it sold immediately for about seven, uh, 650 pounds. So now it's up by 40 pounds. And he, they don't even have it, so that's a projection. By the time they have it, you know, it's unknown how much it will cost. The same with MSI, the, the initial price when they listed it, it was the same as the reference design. But gradually, it, it kept rising. It kept rising before the Brexit, uh, the, the, before the vote. But after the vote, it just skyrocketed. For example, I took a screenshot of my... Um, right, that's my invoice. Uh, I've, I've deleted all the unnecessary details. So you can see on June 27th, I paid £661 for um, MSI Gaming X. Well, that's a non-reference uh, 1080 GeForce. And this is from Scan Computers. So we're going back to Scan Computers. They have brand new stock for 710 pounds. When I bought it, 
they had 50 cards and I bought like just in time. I think they ran out after two minutes of me clicking the keys, they ran out of cards. So this is the new stock and this is a new current price. Remember, this is a premium brand. So if you're looking for cheaper ones, 668. <sighs> this is a cheaper brand. This is not, I think, I don't think this is um, even their highest premium card. I haven't actually made research on pellet, but I don't think this is high, highest premium. Premium meaning they're overclocked better. That's, that's what it come down now. You know, they're, they're selling G-forces based on how well they overclock. For example, the, the Zotac Amp edition is the premium one. The Zotac, uh, you know, the, it's, it's, it has the same cooler basically. However, it's not Amp. So basically it's not gonna overclock as well. It's gonna be cheaper. Right, let's check other stock. Right, so they've already increased the price even on the reference ones. See, 600. Asus was always more expensive, but even the cheap palette, well, cheap used to be cheap, now is uh, over the the initial, you know, price reference. This is the initial price that it was listed on uh, on Amazon, even before they had the stock. This was the first price they had in England. This was um, first and cheapest. Obviously, there were uh, people uh, speculating and selling for insane prices like this. There, there's uh, there's Asus card, um, the Strix, for 900 pounds on uh, on Amazon from Italy somewhere. I mean, I'm not gonna blame people for uh, capitalism. However, this is the reality of Brexit. Um, the new stock of Pretty much all electronics i expect that come from asia they they have to pay for a with a weaker pound it will be more expensive uh, however it's not all bad news i've been invited to battlefield one closed alpha i will i will have to read the the agreement i mean if i can publish anything but I want to I want I actually want to uh, bite them a little bit because they've they've sh they, they've shut down my channel's sort of reputation by uh, closing down one of the videos from E3 they didn't just monetize my video they they, they closed it down to make sure that I look like um, some kind of illegal you know video thief or something so reputation of a channel goes down in the eyes of google and youtube and their advertising partners so they screwed me over royally however they kept all the other youtubers loose and i'm really disappointed with the ea and uh, then on their on their um youtube video legislation they post that everything is uh, is okay we are pro youtube and we love gamers but not me fuck you yeah fuck me so anyways thanks for watching and if you have any comments please leave a comment i would like to discuss this whole breakfast uh, breakfast Brex brexit thing um if you like the channel like the videos please support thumbs up if you dislike them thumbs down and i'll see you next